What's going on guys? In this video I want to share with you guys a little bit about my personal life, a bit of a personal story and hopefully it can help anyone out there. All right. So basically I grew up in the war in Syria. All right. I'm originally from Syria. I grew up in the war in my teenage year. That's where the wars, war started. All right. I was around 12, 13 and I stayed there up until I was 18 because then I was forced to go to the army. So I ran away and I left. I went to France and then came here to Canada. But during those teenage years, uh, when I grew up during the war, I lived a lot of trauma. I was kind of in a survival mode. I was traumatized without even knowing it because when you're in it, you kind of have that survival mode, survival instinct where you just got to get used to it. All right. Just to name a few things. My childhood best friend, basically, he got taken by uh, the forces and tortured because he was against uh, the political uh group over there another thing going to the gym this was very frequent where i was going to the gym and rockets falling basically we were getting attacked i was in damascus and uh and people can't enter so they would send rockets and uh, they fly all right it's flying rockets i don't know how they're called in english and they would fall somewhere and boom explodes everywhere and a lot of times you're going to the gym boom they start falling and many times it happens where I was going to the gym and now you got to start running and running from my house to the gym and everyone's hiding. And then you see a car on fire and all those little things happening. At the moment, in my mind, I was thinking it was normal because that was the reality I was in. So in my mind, I'm like, well, it is what it is. It's like if now, I don't know, your internet stops. It was the same thing. That's how I was seeing it. I was young and I was a little bit, uh, yeah, I was in that survival mode. All right, so uh, many other stuff, all right, that are very traumatizing that really, if I talk about them, people wouldn't even believe it because it's worthy of a movie. But long story short, 18 years old, left. And even when I left, I was with my mom. We left to Lebanon. We got almost kidnapped there. People stopped us with guns, give us our paper, give us this because they didn't want Syrians entering. Anyways, I went to France. I arrived to France, 18 years old, you know, didn't know anybody over there. My aunt was there, but didn't have any friends. Started kind of uh, finding a job. All those stuff were super hard, very hard to adapt. Came here to Canada, Montreal. And there's more possibilities here. So I started doing the opposite of what I was doing in Syria. So basically I started holding on to every piece of stability and comfort and safety that I could find. All right. And it's, it's ironic because when I was doing the war, I didn't care. Trust me. I didn't care at 17, 18 years old. I was a trainer in a gym and I used to give dumbbells to soldiers that had two fingers and I used to put the dumbbells in between their fingers. Can you imagine they had two fingers? because they lost them during the war and I used to give them the dumbbells, they grab it. And for me, that was all normal. It's like, yeah, whatever. And I was like, if it happened to me, I don't even care. All right. I was kind of just not caring about anything anymore. And now I come to Canada and it's the opposite. I want to build something super safe and something comfortable. And I want to hold on to everything and I want to be super safe. And it's like the total opposite. And I've been in this, kind of a route yeah i want to build that routine that is very comfortable and it's i think it's the post-traumatic effect where you kind of want to do the opposite exactly and now anything that triggers you anything small will trigger you and it's crazy right and i've been in that vicious cycle for almost 10 years now where i want to build myself a routine and uh, stay super safe stay very comfortable and prepare everything and expect everything and every time something unexpected happens it's like if my whole being is shocked which is crazy right because 10 years ago i was walking in the street and bombs were falling down and i didn't care i would still go out and i would still do whatever because i wouldn't care but now here if i don't know if my gym is closed and i'm going to the gym and i can't work out it's like if it's the end of the world all right, I'm almost 30. I used to be 17, but by, back then I used to be more mentally strong. All right, all that just to say that, uh, yeah, I, I got into a place where I'm 
kind of hanging on to every piece of stability, every piece of comfort. I was in a relationship, which was my stability. We were engaged for three years and a bit, and she decided to end it all up uh, last Christmas, which was a shock for me. And it, it's been happening shock after shock. Even my good relationships, some friends, it's like if all the stability that I had slowly, slowly falling down. And that's where you realize that, whoa, wait a second, I haven't been doing it right. And the more I'm trying to hold on to this stability, to this routine, to this comfort, the more I'm falling into a trap because it is a trap. That's not what life should be. All right. And the more you try to hold on to things, the more you have that, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, scarcity mindset. And the more you will lose stuff. All right. And uh, I'm happy that I'm realizing it now. Yes, I did lose and, and waste a bit of time because I really want to be in that routine that, trust me guys, everything I was doing was gym, working, and I was with my ex-fiance and that was my life. I didn't want anything else just because uh, subconsciously I came from the war and I don't want to do anything with it again. So I'm trying to build that safety. But that was the trap because now trying to do that, now I find myself all lonely. I have no f real friends anymore. Uh, well, my fiance, ex fiance, she, well, we, she left me, so she's not there anymore. And uh, my job, it's not as stable as it used to be. All right. And it's just showing you guys that it's a trap. And sometimes we want to find an easy life and we want to build ourselves an easy life. But that's the biggest trap. All right. Don't seek for an easy life. Seek for strength so you can endure the challenges of life. And that's the beauty of life is that it's never going to be predictable. It's always unpredictable. There's always going to be new stuff and the challenges are made to build us. All right. Now that, I, that we broke up, it's just a big challenge for me. I had to come to this new place, do all over everything on my own and it's living on my own. And it's not something that I've been used to because I'm used to living with someone and it's a challenge, but I'm growing from it. All right. Same thing with a lot of stuff. All right. But it's just to tell you guys, if you're seeking for an easy life, that's a trap. If you're thinking, I want to make money and then travel somewhere and just go away from everything and just eat and sleep and train and, and have an easy life. Well, that's where you will pay 10 times the price. Don't seek for an easy life. All right. Uh, if there's waves, don't try to, because you know, when there are waves that are coming and you try to not do anything, you'll hit, you'll get hit even more. But if you swim through those waves, that's where you will feel it less and you will kind of enjoy the ride. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can understand this analogy, but guys, trust me, it's, it hurts so much now. And it's because I've been trying to hold on to every single thing and build myself a fake stability, a fake comfort, try to be safe try to avoid any argument, try to avoid anything that is problematic, just so it doesn't remind me of my past. But, you know, use your past to make you stronger and don't don't kind of run away from it, but use it to make you stronger, to, to keep going and keep, uh, yeah, keep going at it. And I'm not saying that you just got to go and find uh, challenges, but when they come, be ready for it and don't settle for an easy life and don't wish for an easy life because just wishing for an easy life will subconsciously make your mind kind of focus on going the easy routes and choosing everything easy and settling for an easy partner and settling for an easy job and settling for a quiet house just so you're quiet just so you have that peace of mind but in reality you don't want to just be living a retired life if you're 20 30 you want to go at it you want to experience stuff you want to achieve stuff, you have goals, you have dreams, go at it. And, you know, just a wake up call for me. And hopefully you guys can learn from it. All right. If you guys enjoy me talking about uh, some of my war sto uh, stories, because I do have a lot of stories. Let me know. Comment down war experiences. I have so many. I have so many. And, you know, uh, it's crazy to say, but now thinking about it, I was feeling safer in the war and I was... I was happier than I am now in all the safety. I'm in a city where it's super safe, but when I used to live in a kind of war city, uh, my mind, it's all in the mind. You know, some people will tell you when they were in prison, they felt more free than when they were outside just because of the mind. You know, everything starts and ends with our mindset. 
All right, so hopefully you guys can get motivated just if you wanna learn something from this video is don't try to settle for an easy life because life will hit you and it will punch you in the face. And if you're settling for an easier life, you're getting weaker and weaker and every vulnerable, you become super vulnerable. Every unexpected things will hurt you even more. But if you're taking those challenges every day, if you're taking bullets every single day, well, if tomorrow you wake up and your laptop is not working, it's not the end of the world. If your internet is not working, it's not the end of the world. But if you're used to that easy life where everything is just so perfect and the, the routine, well, guess what? Life will hit you at a certain point and you won't be prepared and you will just fall upside down and you won't be able to get back up. So what, that won't be your case. All right. So I'll leave you with this, guys. Hopefully this video was motivating enough. See you guys soon. Ciao.